Bismillah, alhamdulillah, assalamu alaikum, greetings of peace. How are you guys doing? Now you're wondering, we're out of our normal studio in Chicago, and I want to thank the Channel 5 here in Bosnia. You guys know if you've been following along on our Facebook, on our channel, that we've been, I've been traveling. And I've been meeting some wonderful people over the past, going on 11 years, I've been bringing you stories of people who have accepted, who have found, and are living this purpose, the purpose of worshiping the Creator, not the creation, Islam. And there's so many misconceptions about it, so we're bringing you in to different Muslims' lives, to connect with them, to, to understand them, and this is no exception. I got Bellamir here, Taekwondo to instructor, former, or how are you, Bellamir? I'm fine, thank you, how are you? Good, good, alhamdulillah. So you're also a bodybuild, European bodybuilding champion, right, in a certain category. Yeah. You won one of the most successful Taekwondo schools in Sarajevo? Yes, yes. How you been? Oh, I'm fine, alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. <laughs> so tell us a little bit more about yourself. About myself? <laughs> what to tell you didn't, you didn't mention it. When did you start Taekwondo? Oh, I was 14. Yeah. I was 14 now, I'm 42, so a yeah. long time ago. Well, as you heard, you know, uh, you know, what motivated me to start the program, you know, the Dean Show, mm -hmm. and now I'm so excited that, you know, the brothers here from Channel 5, they've set us up where we can go ahead and meet, you know, to help facilitate, because I, I feel that there's so many misconceptions, yeah. not only with outside of the Muslim community, but also inside of the Muslim community, you know? And particularly here, we'll probably focus on the inside and let people from the outside to see what we talk about, to see, because there's a lot of dehumanization, you see? Yeah, and when yeah. you dehumanize people, what happens? Then you look at them as the other, and then you can drop bombs on them, and all sorts of things happen, right? Yeah. But when they connect, many people watch the Dean Show, we have a 1-800 number, people call, they ask mm -hmm. questions, mm -hmm. and you'll be amazed. Yeah. So many people are accepting Islam, you follow me? Wow. But then you also have people who are living, meaning that living in a predominantly, uh, predominantly Muslim uh, country, mm -hmm. Bosnia mm -hmm. is ma mm -hmm. mainly Muslim. Yeah, majority. Yeah. But you also have Catholics, uh, or Orthodox, Orthodox. Uh, yes. Christian Catholics. Yes. Um, and then you have people here who are born Muslim, yes. because we have a lot of people who are digging for the truth, <laughs> and they find it, and man, they are in love, they start praying, fasting, whatnot. But also you have people here who, some people, not, not just, I mean, it's an awakening. Many people are coming back to yeah. the masjids yes. and whatnot. But some people, they don't think it's cool to be, Muslim, you know, to be practicing. Maybe you're like, uh, you know, yeah. a weirdo and whatnot. But you are a particular case. You did bodybuilding. You did the, you know, Taekwondo, very athletic, nutrition. And you, how, you started uh, actually practicing how long ago? You were at an age of uh, 20 uh, around? 20, 20 years ago. Yeah. Tell us, how did that all happen? Well, as you said, a lot of people here are Muslim, but they are not practicing Islam. Mm. I was like that also. Usually, uh, I was going on Tarawih Namaz during the Ramadan, and that's all my practice in Islam. And during one Ramadan, with my good friend, I was went to the Tarawih Namaz and 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 stay stay all night in the mosque uh, to make a body because it was 27 night of Ramadan, and usually people think. People here think that's a little color, and I was staying in the most cold night. And during during the the, the salah, a lot of people start crying, and and that that was make some impression on me. Yeah. I was during that that time. I was so so excited. Mm -hmm. You're like, why are these people crying? Uh, yeah, why? yeah, yeah, of course. That, uh, but uh, I was starting to, to cry, you know. It's, uh, yeah. I, I was so, so, so excited that I couldn't, I couldn't stand o o on my legs. You know, my, my, my knees are shaking, so I was, I was thinking I was throwing down. So from that night, <laughs> I pray every Salah. It's yeah. as simple as that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Did that, did that interfere with your Taekwondo, with uh, you know, your lifestyle? We, we see a lot of athletes, like uh, uh, Khabib Nagarumado, mm -hmm. you've heard of him? Yeah, you know, yeah of course, I'm watching him. Yeah. You've seen, uh, there was this one 
uh, I don't know what athletes. It was amazing. The guy, and these are just live examples mm -hmm. of some people like, oh, that's for the old people. You know, <laughs> when I get yeah, yeah, 60, yeah. 70, <laughs> then I'll start practicing. No, you don't know if you're going to live that long, yeah, right? Course. There's a group of athletes, mm -hmm. right? And then the girl comes and she's like scantily dressed. And, and you can see the shoulder yeah, brother. He puts yeah, his, yeah. he Good puts example, his. Good example, yeah. Did you see that? Did yeah, you see yeah. that one? Yeah. 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 So how, how does that now with you being an athlete, you know, mm. and whatnot, how does Islam fit into the equation? It was very difficult, you yeah. know, because uh, I was international referee. I, I am international referee in Taekwondo. Uh, I, I travel a lot. Every weekend I'm somewhere refereeing or coaching. And when you just mentioned the female, I have a lot of contact with females. And because there are a lot of female referees, a lot of female trainers. And uh, I try to... to to do my best to show myself as, as a Muslim first of all. I have a beard. I don't shake hand with the women also. It, it, it was very difficult to explain foreign people or foreign female coaches or refereeing why, why I'm like that. You know, here everyone knows that because a lot of people in, in Sarajevo wearing beer, not shaking hands with, with the women and that stuff. But I, I, I try to, to, to do my best to, to make that uh, as, as my individual, you know. Mm -hmm. And I succeed all the time, yeah. alhamdulillah. I think people, they respect when people, they <clears throat> hold to a certain moral code, to certain values, whereas many people are just like, if the wind blows that way, they go that way, you know. Their principles change yes. day in and day out. But even when you, when you mentioned the shaking of the hands, mm -hmm. right? This is something that could be very, sometimes very uncomfortable. Oh, but even yes. when, you, when you speak to women, you know, a lot of times, you know, you'll address a woman and say, you know what? Uh, it's out of respect. Yeah. You yeah. cannot just walk up to Queen Elizabeth or any of these queens. You can't touch them, right? Yes. You're a queen, right? Yeah, yeah. And I don't have the right, you know, to go ahead and touch what's not mine. You follow yeah, me? Yeah, very good example to, to explain. <laughs> yeah, so a lot of times, a lot of times at first, some people can go from being, you know, kind of insulted, but yeah, when she yeah. knows she's a queen, and this is out of respect, the cowboys, even in America, they wouldn't yes. touch the women, right? They'd take off their hats and they'd be like showing respect. We've kind of gone away from that. Islam still holds those values, yes. you follow me? Yeah. So when it's explained, people are like, ah, oh, many women, they start to blush. You know, like, yes, yeah, oh, yeah. that's so nice, <laughs> you're right? So that's uh, that's interesting, but that's the whole purpose. When we when we get to put things in context, when people are open, their minds are open, uh, we can get this information. A lot of people they 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 really respect that. Yeah. Yes, and and usually you know, I, I I try to do to do my best to make myself as a good example for for everything. You know, to the people when they saw me on the street, they they just wanna wanna uh, think that. Oh, I, I, I want to be Muslim like he is, mm -hmm. you know, the good body, I don't know, good Taekwondo master, uh, very successful, successful competition results in, in Taekwondo and that stuff. And I try to, to people saw me through, 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 through my success in, in, yeah. in everything. And just to said, I want to be like him. I want to be Muslim like him. Yeah. Not, not, not to be the Muslim, the, the society doesn't have any, any use, you know. Yeah. For, for. Leading by example, that's, yes. that, that's yes. very important. What had you come to a point where you started to reflect and think about purpose? Why are we here? Most people go through life, right? Yeah. They go through all the activities, nine to five job, Monday through Friday, Go out. I don't know about here, but usually maybe it's the same thing. But in yeah, back yeah, in the of states, course, you course. work, you know, like a dog. You sweat or you study. Then the weekend comes. Now it's time to let loose, right? Yeah. And you're not reflecting, right? You're not thinking, what's the purpose? Why am I here? You know, people are just leaving this earth. They're dying, and many people they don't really stop to reflect. But now, obviously, a Muslim is one who sur surrenders and submits to God. And now they have a plan. They have a purpose, right? There's hope, and there are struggles, of course, but what had you at that point before you started praying and that? Were you at that point where you're kind of like, you know, thinking, reflecting, what's my purpose in life? Why am I here? Oh, no, I, I was raised 
as a Muslim. Yeah. So uh, there's not a lot of new things for me. Yeah. In in the Islam, I I know a lot of things, but I didn't practice because I don't know when I was so young. I was raised by my uh, grandparents. Yeah. You no, know, and when I was a kid, I was go to the mosque often, very often, you know. Yeah. But when I was started going to the school and high school and that stuff, I just lose somewhere in, in that mm -hmm. that connection, you know. Yeah. And later, I was I was find the connection again. Yeah. But I was always no. There is a God, name is Allah, and my purpose is to serve Him. But mm -hmm. I, I just didn't get that level <laughs> yeah. till, I, till I was 20. Mm -hmm. Did you ever, like when you talk to some of the, um, let's say, Serbians mm -hmm. or Croatians, mm -hmm. what do they call God by? What name? Do they say Bog? What do they? Yeah, they just said, just, just said God. They, they just say God. Yes. And, and, and so that, that would be in... In the, the Serbian, Croatian, Bosnian, well, how do you translate that? Bog. Bog. Bog, yes. So they say Bog. Yes. What, when they hear Allah, what do they, have you ever had a conversation? Do they, do, how do they interpret when you say Allah? Oh, they, Is that something, do they know that equals they, God? They know, they know, yes. Yeah? They know what I'm talking about. Yeah, because some people, like back in America, uh -huh. many people, they have this misconception. There was a lot of propaganda that Allah is some moon god. Some pagan god. Uh -huh, Was that uh -huh. same thing reached here? That no, propaganda? No, 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 no. no, no. no? They're they're more they were intelligent on that, so they know <laughs> yes, this is the, the creator, right? Yes, yes, yeah. yes. They they know what I'm thinking about. Yeah, yeah. yeah but they usually they, they have a lot of question about women, about the covering the hijab. Uh, how how can you get four women and that stuff? That's usually they are questioning. Yeah, uh, yeah. they they yeah. don't want to know about Islam, truly Islam. Yeah. Just just make question about certain things. They are so interested as, yeah. as I mentioned, you know. I found that usually, you know, all these some of these, you know, side uh, issues, right? Mm -hmm. You know, secondary, third dairy, many people they'll bring up, but I think when if people can understand the concept of God in Islam, right? Yes. That he's one alone worthy of worship, that there's nothing comparable to him. Uh, he has no children, he has no son. Mm -hmm. These things, you know, the theology of Islam, most people, they're fitrah. They're, yeah, they're, yeah. They, 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 that brings they them in, it. right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just uh, before I go to my next question, for, you know, many of the audience who now are tuning in and they hear, uh, j these are really important connecting points and we can share with our audience where they can bridge that gap of misunderstanding. Mm -hmm. Did you know that even in the Aramaic language, this is the original yeah. language that Jesus spoke, uh -huh. he would say, Allah. Allah, Allah, really? Allah. Yeah. Look at that, Allah. That's Allah, the Creator. And Jews and Christians mm -hmm. who speak Arabic, in the Bible it says Allah, <laughs> right? Not in the, it, we know in the Quran, but in the, how do you say, u, u, biblia, te, u Biblia? U Biblia, yes. U Biblia, yes. yeah. Pishe u Arabski Allah. Yeah, huh? Is it more simple than that? <laughs> yeah. Isn't that amazing? Be. <laughs> yeah. So tell us more. You're also uh, involved in, in really uh, nutrition and whatnot. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> a lot of things uh, in my life is nutrition. You yeah. know, I always just watching what I eat, how many carbs, how many proteins, how many fats. And I, 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 I have my diary. You know, yeah. I always just get in the, 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 the data, yeah. what I have eat, what I will eat and, and that's What do you think are the, just for the average person who's not counting calories, mm -hmm. what do you think, because we have an epidemic now that 70, I don't know how it is here, but I see a lot of people are walking. That's a, you yeah. know, back back home, people are stuck. They don't really walk much. Mm -hmm. You know, they sit at the TV and many people, they end up eating a lot of processed junk foods. That's why I think the latest statistic was around seven, get this, 70% yeah. of people, back home are overweight or obese. Mm -hmm. How is mm -hmm. it over here in, in Bosnia? I don't think it's... It's not that big, that, huh? That big, no. Yeah. But uh, I, I, the, 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 the fact is that in a in couple years, we have an awakening of fitness and healthy food and, yeah. and that stuff. And in, now in every store, 
bigger store, some malls and that stuff. You can buy proteins and a lot of supplements. Every store have a apartment for the healthy food and and that stuff. It it wasn't like that five years ago, but now it is. Yeah. Everyone want to uh, look and eat healthy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's that's a good thing. Very very good for fitness business. Yeah. <laughs> what, what what do you recommend people to the foods to? Sometimes it's one thing we recommend, like a lot of times, uh, fruits and vegetable, real foods, right? To eat. Mm-hmm. What are the things that you like? Say the top two, three food to not eat. What would you say? Stay away from this if you want to, you know, protect your health. Oh, fast food. <laughs> Fa- uh, processed food, right? Fake. Yeah. F- we call it yeah. fake food. That's fake yeah, yeah. food. Yeah. There's a lot lot of. Uh, stuff you do, you don't need for for your body, and it's fast food. Yeah. What What about uh, There's a documentary called I recommend everyone to watch. It's called Fed Up. Uh-huh. Have you heard of this? No. no. Fed Up. It talks about the white sugar, sugar oh, yeah. being the new nicotine of our time. You know yes, how, yes, how yes. nicotine uh, yeah, yeah, people are addicted. Mm-hmm. Now white processed refined sugar mm-hmm. is causing so many health disasters. Do you uh, is that Oh, yes, also? of course. Uh, I personally avoid and and sugar, sugar and salt also. And yeah, the both of think are not very healthy for our body, yeah. and recommended all of my clients to, to do like that also. Yeah, what what could people who have a a uh, they like some sweet replace? So we gave them three pieces of advice for nutrition. So stay away from processed junk food. Eat yeah. domace. Domace, uh, domace yeah. is like organic, Domestic. right? Or just real food. Second, yeah. we talk about stay, stay uh, the process, uh, the white sugar, mm-hmm. right? And what about someone, what do you recommend if someone likes something sweet or something, what, uh, you banana, fruit. What I, what? fruit. Fruits, Yeah. that's natural sugar. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yes, but not that kind of sugar. It, it, but it's real, it's real food, <laughs> yeah. right? Yeah, because in there you have the fiber, you have yeah, everything is things. combined rather than just pro- taking it processed out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, so we can get, what, what are your favorite fruits? <laughs> banana, banana, yeah. banana. <laughs> a lot of carbs. <laughs> yeah. Let me go back to, uh, you know, how is it here? As far as th- there are certain dilemmas, challenges that we have back in the United States, mm-hmm. my uh, w- where I came to visit you guys from, and we're seeing that uh, through making this human human connection, through mm-hmm. people mm-hmm. tuning in, watching the Dean Show, we're probably one of the one of the first and one of uh, the few. Very few Islamic uh, talk shows, TV uh-huh, talk shows, uh-huh. in America. You, yeah, really. So when people reach us and they listen to us, right, and they meet people like you, because a lot of times you think, oh, Muslim, right? Maybe got a <laughs> yeah. beard. You know, the guy's like looks kind of Arab or something, because they equi- equate Muslim with some yeah, Arab Arabic. in the desert, yeah, yeah. and they say me, white American, <laughs> talking like this. Now you, white Bosnian. Yeah. You follow me? Um, so they they equate, you know, oh, he's fundamentalist, you know, maybe he's terrorist, whatever, sleeper so You know, <laughs> do you have those things here when they see you with the beard or? Oh uh, yes, yes, yeah? of course, yeah, yeah. Right, right now, I, I'm very, I'm, I'm enigma for everyone because with the beard and this this body, you know, no one can connect. Oh <laughs> those yeah. two things, you uh-huh. know, because uh, the, they probably. Uh, the media, the media, uh, the media started to, to, to make people minds yeah. that they think just just one thing. That when they saw the people with the beard, they just saw, want to show terrorists yeah. and and the people who are killing each other and, and that stuff. And I didn't I didn't see any media to. to to present the people with the beer as a peaceful, peaceful people, peaceful men, women, uh, athletic men, sportsmen, and that that kind of stuff. You, you don't have that kind of show mm-hmm. uh, on the media, but it, it, it's here. It's yeah. like that also. There are a lot of prejudice uh, from the Muslim people. No, yeah. not, not from Christian or Orthodox or Catholics, from Muslim people. Yeah. Uh, before the Second World War, yeah. here, you have a lot of people with a beard, a lot of uh, females with, with, uh, 
with the hijab, with the niqab. I seen those pictures. Oh, yes. I was amazed. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's nothing new on on on, on this territory, mm -hmm. but it was forgotten. Because of time. communism, you oh, think yes. that's why? Yes, yes, that's yeah. the main reason. Because With the Tito, he didn't allow the beer, but the mustache, something like that. No, no, I don't. I will not say he didn't allow this. Yeah. But uh, usually, people, when they, you have to commit to the party if ah. you if you want to succeed in your life. You got to be committed to that yes. group, that party, right? Yes. And yes, they didn't of allow course. if you if you couldn't have like be in the party and have a beard. You you could have a beard. Yeah. But. <laughs> You, you you need a good reason to have a beard. Oh, you know? okay. So not, you not, look not down, to, they look down upon you. Yeah, yeah. Not, not to have a beard because you are Muslim. Yeah. You you can you could have a beard. You have yeah. a lot of politic uh, people people from politics. They have beard. They have mustache, but they didn't have beard because they are a Muslim. Yeah. That's the main main reason. Yeah. I hate like I don't, it's not that I hate it, but sometimes we have so many important issues, mm -hmm. right? And so many things that are really, you know, um, hurting the community at large. And then sometimes people will get stuck mm -hmm. on the beer. You yeah. follow me? Yeah. You don't even bring it up, but now you're being attacked by it. But it's interesting. We've kind of back in the, uh, making a contrast between here in the United States. You know, it's interesting. Besides Orthodox Jews, mm -hmm. besides uh, Orthodox Christians, they all have a beard. I mean, you could, would you call Jesus a terrorist? Prophet Muhammad, <laughs> peace be upon him, Moses, they all had yeah, of the beard, right? Yeah. Uh, and not just that, but when you go back to the States, now you have athletes. Yes, yes. Uh, you have movie stars. It's like, we don't do it because that, but they're kind of like, it seems like they're imitating the uh -huh, Muslims uh -huh. now, huh? Because yeah, yeah. everybody's like growing a beard. Did yeah. you notice that? Now no, it's very cool to have a beard. It's very yeah. cool. <laughs> so you guys are kind of, you got to catch up here. Yeah, yeah. Right? And not just that. Because in America, everything's about science. Now get mm -hmm. this. Mm -hmm. Do you know that the beard is, an, is, is actually helping to prevent UV rays for hitting your face? And it's, anti, it's actually anti-cancer. Yeah. Did yeah. you know? That's no. amazing. Actually, also, the pollen, uh -huh. it also helps to prevent asthma because all the dust. <laughs> yeah. Allah Akbar. Isn't that amazing? <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. yeah sure. So when you bring up these facts, and we don't do it but from, from these things, but we benefit yeah. from the wisdom of what Allah has prescribed because there's nothing that the Creator has told us to do, but there's benefit from it. Isn't yeah, that amazing? Mashallah. Yeah, so inshallah, people can pick up on these things. But the main thing that, you know, through this program is, is just connecting, to show that we're human also, yeah, that, that we have the same blood, that we have the same needs and, and, and some of the same aspirations and goals. But we're trying to achieve those things, but we're also living our purpose, mm -hmm. you know, and to stimulate yeah. people to think, you know, beside these distractions and all that. You know, recently, it's very sad that uh, there was a, I don't know if you heard about it, I think it's on the news here. Mm -hmm. You had the, this is the greatest mass shooting oh, yeah, yeah, I heard about in yeah. American history, right? And we feel like the, the hypocrisy, I don't know if you guys, how do you feel about that? Because if you pass by a Muslim, we often say, if you ate lunch with a Muslim, if you pass by a Muslim, a Muslim, a Muslim <laughs> sneezed by you, somehow, <laughs> if he doesn't say Allahu Akbar, it's not terrorism. Yeah. But this guy, not only did he kill, I believe, like around 60 people, yeah. injured 500. Injuries, like maybe got shot in the hand, maybe he's crippled, deep, you know, 500 people, but still not labeled a terrorist, you know what I mean? Yeah, and, I know. Um, what, what are your thoughts on that when you guys, you know, see those uh, double standards? I don't know what to say about that. It's, a, uh, I, it's obviously that just our, the, the Muslims are terrorists. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. I know why, of yeah. course, but they just want to make a bad image on, on Muslim people of, of Islam. I don't know. Uh, I, I, here, I try to fight uh, over, over that kind of things. Yeah. With my example and yeah. the stuff, I already mentioned it. And uh, I hope the, the the, the 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 people here will finally uh, finally get knowing that yeah. we are not we're uh, not what people try to make us yes, out to be yes right? of course yeah and what what about now uh, the people who are not Muslim what 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 have you found I you know when when you really look into Islam and that was one thing that motivated me you know to really put together uh, this kind of program. Uh, through education, r removing that ignorance. Islam, 
you know, you find that it promotes mercy, love, justice, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't teach you to hate someone because he's Serbian, yeah. hate someone because he's Croatian, hate someone because he's outside, he's not Muslim. And, but the media, the people will try to twist that and make it the opposite, you know, yes. like it does promote that. How, 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 how is the life here amongst uh, people who of other faiths? Well, uh, I think there's a, a lot of wounds from the war. Mm -hmm. uh, they are not allowed. They don't allow to to, to connect on, on that level, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, a lot of wounds from the war. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yes. This was the greatest genocide that happened yes. after World War Two, yes. right? Yeah. Against yeah. the Muslims that many much of the world has know nothing about. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Of course. And and I think usually uh, the Bosnian people. Muslim Bosnian people, uh, they, 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 they didn't forget everything that happened, but they, they tried to put it in, in the certain uh, behind. Yeah, put it in the past. Yeah, and, but the, the, the other one uh, don't think like that. Mm -hmm. They always know what's happening, what, 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 what was happened and what, what uh, what what they need to, to do in, in the future, mm. but usually I, I don't have problem with with uh, Croatian with Serbs. So we are yeah. communicating because of we are seeing each other all on the competition all the time. We train together, our competitor are together in the national team and and that stuff. And the the sport is very different level from the common life. Yeah. You know, you, you you need to be connect all the time with with all of all of religion here, all, all of all of nation in 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 our country, and that's the good thing. The good thing about sport, they yeah. connect people. So that would that be your advice also for the parents maybe watching? Get your kids involved in sports. Oh, sport activity. Oh. <laughs> the 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 kids have to have to practice any some kind of sport they, they, yeah. they really need because they will learn a lot of things they will travel they will they will, they will find how to to survive by themselves without the parents and the stuff it's it's very good for the kids yeah well I do thank you thank you for uh, joining me oh, thank you here for the invitation. and uh, the Dean show at Channel 5 in Bosnia out of all places we still up and running continuing strong Jazakallah. Thank you, my brother. Thank you very Thanks. much. Thank you. And I want to thank you guys for tuning in and continue to tune in. We're going to bring you some wonderful episodes here from Bosnia. Follow me on my Facebook page. Subscribe on the uh, YouTube that we have and connect. For those tuning in, connect. You see, I'm trying to bring you, bring to life a Muslim's life so you can kind of, so we can humanize what people are trying to dehumanize and visit your mosque. You have a number you can call, 1-800-662-ISLAM. Ask your questions, and then you can make your judgments from there. And I hope to see you again next time here, same channel, same time on The D Show. Peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum.